Greetings and welcome back to Smartwatch Ticks. You are looking at the Z Blaze Thor S, looking up at me, looking down at you, and this is the camera of the phone show, I mean the camera of the watch transmitting using Hangouts to the phone. And what you're seeing up above is the picture of the phone transmitting to the watch. And this is what I get right now is intermittent reception. Uh, that's a Hangouts issue. I don't think it has anything to do with either the phone or the uh, watch, but it is giving us some interesting pictures. Now, if you want to check out basically the resolution of what it would look like from the watch on the other end, here you go. And this is what about oh, 10 inches away, I'd say from this box of baking soda, which if I move it closer, we can see what the focus range pretty much is. Still a little bit in focus. And we're what, three inches away. So you can get some really good close-ups with this camera. And of course, a decent distance. You notice the automatic white balance kicked in for us. And it's right on your arm. So if you're looking at shooting pictures of yourself you can do that right from your arm and easy as can be and uh it's a transmission issue from the phone to the watch right now otherwise the camera image from the phone would be popping up here and it goes in and out periodically but just to show you that it is doable the camera does interface with apps and i'm using google's hangouts two different accounts to make this happen right now, totally fully functional. Yay, wait a minute, there I go, it came back in. There's the picture from the phone. And so now you can see the resolution, what it would look like on the watch. I think you could do some pretty decent voice chatting with this system, both of them working with each other. Very nice. All right, let's, Let's go play now with those, uh, those uh, camera images. Now I'm gonna have a zip file with these pictures in it in the show notes down below. You can just click on that and download it and look at these images and blow them up and do whatever analysis you want so you can see what the actual quality of the pictures coming from the camera on the Thor S looks like. This is just now taken with the open camera app. Uh, here's an outdoor picture when you get a chance to look at it because I'm not able to show you the quality with the camera automatically adjusting for the background lighting, washing out the sky. But you can see detail in the puffiness of the clouds, the dark areas of the trees, the green of the grass. And I have Thor S down here with open camera. You can actually annotate your pictures with a little bit of text if you'd like to. There's another one. Here's a uh, ocean scene. Notice the gradients in the sky. Something good to look for is, do you see banding or is it smooth? How's the color continuity? You have the sand, you have the ocean. A lot of nice subtle work there. Here's uh, some flowers. Look uh, when you get the pictures downloaded at the dark areas here and how well it's rendering the fine details in what otherwise would be black. And notice the, the sharp difference in colors as it renders the stop sign. There's a little house. There's another shot of the flowers. Again, you can look at the uh, detail. I think there's some cars back here. And if we do the triple tap thing, we can zoom in. Of course, my thumb's going to go right where the cars are, but you see them right there? And of course, you can roam around. Now, that triple tap we did is not a, a pinch and zoom kind of a technique. Remember, on the original review, I had to go in and turn that on as part of the Android system. This does not support the pinch and zoom for the, the pictures themselves. So those are some images, just a few from open camera. Now, I'm going to switch over to the gallery. Again, I encourage you to look at the pictures directly because this camera 
is wiping out everything you see of the corona around the sun. Sun is right there, and this is a shot into the sun of some green landscape with ocean in the background and a horizon back there, a little bit of clouds on the side, and uh, you can see the streaking lines from the sun in the actual image, but I can't get it to render properly here. How about if I, you can kind of see it there if I dim it way down, but now the foreground is all washed out. Anyway, look at this on, a, on, on your own system and I'll get, you'll get a good feel for the quality of the images. Are they five megapixel really, or are they two megapixel? I think they're actually five megapixel. There's a spider kind of overblown. Here's another spider rendered. There he is. These are called pineapple spiders. You can zoom in and see how clear they are. Another flower arrangement. This now is taken with the internal camera, the one that just comes with it, the stock camera. And my my friend <laughs> wearing sunglasses. All these are for your enjoyment to download and do whatever you want to with. And then, of course, you can go in and select the camera of your choice to continue taking pictures. That's how the gallery works. All right. So that's uh, an overview of the uh, camera capabilities and the video conferencing. Shortest video I've ever done. And just a reminder, here's how you can get the Thor S. Down in the show notes, as usual, you'll find a link to Banggood with a buying opportunity to pick up the Z-Blaze Thor S. It's available right now. These are a bunch of the different stock watch faces that come with it. An overall really nice watch. Uh, SIM card works. I've got data going on it. Oh, by the way, what we just saw on the Hangouts was in Wi-Fi to Wi-Fi in the Wi-Fi zone. Of course, it had to cross the internet and come back. It wasn't just within the zone, but I wasn't going from cell phone to cell watch uh, doing video conferencing. That was Wi-Fi to Wi-Fi zone, but it should have been the same performance no matter where those two Wi-Fi zones uh, were located. Uh, check up here. You can click to go and take a look at the full review of this watch, and again, you can buy it right down here in the show notes. Thanks for watching.